Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. I have been doing some challenges off camera. I'm just going to quickly go over what I've done. I mainly did these. I know that some people think it's blasphemous for me to do them off camera. But mainly it's because they're so difficult and I really wanted their unlocks. And doing it on camera I'd end up taking so many attempts. We did seeing double. Which is doubled all enemies and doubled bosses which was a nightmare. But then the harder one was actually Bloody Mary. This one you start as Bethany and you have Blood Earth so you get dropped down to half a heart at the start of every floor and get damage up for every heart that's taken. It's really hard. It's basically like most floors unless you have like really good healing. You play as the Lost with no Holy Mantle. It was scary as shit but I beat them both and like I said unfortunately off camera but either way. I think this time we're going to go for all character unlocks. Let's actually have a look at who we need to get because... I've decided that I'm going to go and play the alts as soon as I've unlocked all of them. And we're currently missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think, yeah, 8. So let's go and do like Apollyon maybe. Try and get his. Because we've got to do the beast with Apollyon as well. And I'm intrigued to see what his alt might be. His alt could be interesting. Anyways, let's go in, uh, start with the void and see what we can get done. Hopefully we have a good first floor here. Um... Tend to, I, I tend to see that with, um, ooh, nice, that's, that's a nice start. I tend to see that with Apollyon, we very rarely get to use Void, really. I mean, that's kind of just the trend. Sadly, you don't get any bonus, really, for going to the, um, going for the alt floors and, it, like, sucking the extra items with Void. It doesn't seem to give any extra stats unless I'm missing something. Uh, so we can't really, we can't really cheese it in that way. Um, do you know what? A single room with an Eternal Heart is fantastic for us, though. So we'll probably go normal path then dip into the uh, alt path if we have the uh, requisite health. But early on, we're definitely going to stick normal path. Okay. Should be okay against these little fellas. Both of them are one hit away from death. Good, good. And a card as well. Chariot. Chariot isn't super good for us unless we somehow get a blood bank on this floor. In fact, you know what? I'm going to open that up. Callus, I'm pretty happy with it. I believe we can't take spike damage or creep damage if you're if you're holding Callus. Wow, that guy's a bit a bit saucy, isn't he? Um, is this a hard room? I I can't. I haven't yet decided. It seems to be relatively hard. Yeah, there's a lot of flies, and they are uh, in two different two different camps. I really thought they'd all join together. In fact, yeah, let's uh let's do this. I wasn't going to do this, but it's just going to make this room take like seven less years. And I I like that. <laughs> I don't want to be in this room forever. Uh, item room, what do you hold for me? Box of spiders. We'll suck it. Why not? We're going to suck it. Suck it. Yeah, but apparently the void, I was right last time. The void has changed. It used to use the active whenever you picked it up for the first time. Now it only uses it on the second activation. Uh, so it has changed in that way. What up, my Larry fellas? No bombs to deal with these guys, but we don't care about being hit or anything. So let's just take our time uh, because we've got the uh, Eternal Heart out there waiting for us. Apparently as well, I don't know if this is something that changed in Repentance. It very, mel very well might have done. But the poops that these guys poop out during the fight cannot drop anything. But if you leave the room and then walk back in, the poops can then drop things. I don't know if that will have changed. That seems like somewhat of a bug. Um... Because you can kind of farm these guys for poops, I guess. Let's let's try that out. So we didn't get anything during the fight. If we go back over here, grab our Eternal Heart, which is very, very saucy for us. Very, very nice. And then come back out and destroy some of these. Can we get drops from any of them? I mean, we might not get drops anyways, but we'll find out. Didn't get anything, so who knows? Anyways, we're going down to the next floor. We do have Callus here, like I said, so any spike room is going to be a little bit easier. Um... Very much want to get into that boss trap room. We do always get an item from boss traps. They have been changed um, so that you will always get an item. But you have to be at exactly one red heart and no more to get in them. So essentially, if I see health lying around on this floor, I am very willing to take myself down to its level in order to uh, get in there. Uh, also, we do have our item room here, but no key, unfortunately, at the moment. No bomb to open this chest either. So we're a little light on consumables right now. Ooh, do not get me. Ooh, that was spicy. Little light on consumables. Um, maybe I'll just go into the cash room and see what we can get from there. Because I do believe that going into the cash room no longer affects your deal with the devil, Chance. It used to be that you couldn't go in until you got your deal with the devil and you have to come back. Now those doors don't affect it. It's only getting hit on red health by enemies that affects it now. Uh, or traps. But doors like that 
they don't count anymore, which is great. That's a really nice change. I think it's the same for the um, for the sacrifice room as well. Okay. Troll bomb room reward. Not not quite what I'm looking for. Oh, this room is nightmare fuel. These guys are so much more difficult than they used to be. So the angled shots are very much uh, in right now. But I think we have the range required to do it without most of them being able to hit us. But yeah, doing this, very necessary now. Uh, let's just go and try our boss out. It is Ragman. Without a bomb, Ragman is probably going to hit us. Uh, let's do that and get some spiders. Might make our time a little bit easier. That actually wasn't very good. And now we can't avoid anything. If we get anything good. Damn, that was probably a terrible idea. Not going to lie. I just wanted to speed up the fight to try and get a deal with the devil. But what if we get a space bar from the deal with the devil? That's really good that we really want to keep and void. Now we can't. Okay, take care of you. You have a few bodies lying around. Gotta be careful because I do believe this is the version of him that can revive the bodies. Like the default version. Oh my god. Good, good. We did get a deal. We don't know what anything is, so... I guess we just take it and hope for the best. Fucking guppy's paw. Empty vessel. Honestly, I am very happy with how that just went. <laughs> that was uh, that was mighty risky, and it paid off. Empty vessel, of course, giving us a bonus only when we're at no red hearts, and this paid off as well. Okay, this was a calculated risk. I'm really hoping we can get a key this floor. Really hoping. Oh, we do get an extra item. Boiled baby. Does look like, unless we guess our secret room correctly, we're not getting uh, into item room. There's so many positions. There's so many positions that um, the secret room could be in here, and we only have one bomb. Damn. I think it's here. Yes. Now, just give us another bomb. Yes. Woo! We just about did it, and what do we get for that? Lost contact. Pretty good. Okay. Honestly, we built up a pretty good build here. Uh, we don't have the key to go down to alt floor, so we will be going normal path this time around. But we're going for alt character unlock the, the the tainted character, so I don't mind. And honestly, the fact the fact that we came out of that with such good stuff really is is the best. Considering how uh, how we didn't know anything going into that, we were picking up all completely unknown items. I think that was like pretty damn well played. Like I say, well played, more lucky. Uh, also, empty vessel giving us shielding every now and again. If we can keep that alive for the um, for the fight against uh, the the beast, it's going to be very very useful. It procs, I think, every 20 seconds, and we get around five seconds of it. We'll be going in here. Oh ho, 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 yes! This item's been changed, and it's now amazing. Uh, oh damn! That still hit me. Okay. Um, yeah, this item's been changed and it's now amazing. Uh, essentially, you guys probably know this item, little little horn, science tears. Uh, when you hit an enemy, it guarantees a kill. Uh, it does a slightly extra damage to bosses now, but now it has a really cool effect. And I'll, I'm, I'm not going to say what it is until it happens because, yeah, it's amazing. We just got to hope they hit them there. They are relatively rare, the tears. They're not super rare, but they're rare enough that we might end up missing a few of them before we hit one. Oh, really? <laughs> We're going to miss every single one now, aren't we? Every single one. Pill. I'll take it. Puberty is fine. I don't know why that's bad. I mean, maybe it's just a commentary on the fact that puberty is not fun. Come on. Give us a science tier. Damn it. The sun card's kind of nice. Oh, no key again. But there you go. The game, the game provides. What do you have for me? <laughs> sucky, sucky. <laughs> Not taking care, Stai. That is a terrible idea when fighting the beast. No teleportation for me, thank you. We didn't get great stats. We got luck and shot speed. Shot speed's kind of bad. Okay, there you go. You saw it there. Um, it makes a little hole and a hand comes out and grabs the enemy. It's great. Power pill. I'm taking pills a lot more now, which is a, probably mostly a bad idea. As you can see, the science tiers are pretty rare. We're not getting them very often at all. Hopefully, we can get fire it so that we can get a few more of those. The, the I think luck does increase the chance of these being fired as well, which also is going to be helpful. Um, I think we should try and make a shop work here. Try and uh, get a few Penskis and get into our shop -a 
Come on, come on. We could also try and get into our uh, secret room, wherever it may be. I'm going to guess that it's here. Let's see. It is indeed. And there's the Penskis that I was talking about. Right, let's go for a shot. And I think that the science tiers, um, or little horn tiers, whatever you want to call them, actually do work. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, they actually do work against the uh, the boss now, whereas they never used to. I think they just did slightly extra damage. Mega Fatty, first time seeing him. Yeah, there you go. Look, look at that hand. A hand drops in and does extra damage for us. It's super fucking cool. Oh, damn it. Okay, I have just noticed one small bad interaction that we have going on right now. Shielded tears plus, um, plus these horn shots is going to mean that they don't always hit. Because sometimes they'll get blocked by a tier. Which is... It's an anti-synergy, but I'd still, I'm still glad we have lost contact. The higher our fire rate goes, the more important that's going to be for us. Uh, so let's hope we get, like, Barra Soap or something after this. I think Mega Fight has been changed, you know. His, his jumps don't seem anywhere near as sporadic as they used to. But look at that damage. Mega Fight has got all the health. That's a lot of damage. That's good. That is a tier's up. Um, very nice. Every now and again, we fire extra tiers. That's really, really good, actually. Uh, and let's just jump down. We're going to go full normal path this time, I think. Um, we've been seeing tons of new stuff, so I'm okay with taking normal path, and we've got Cursor Blind. It's kind of annoying, but we can deal with it. But yeah, so one cool thing about the eye drops is not only is it a fire rate up, but it is literally a tears up in the fact that you do sometimes sporadically just fire extra tears, as you can see, which is great for any on-hit effects. Essentially, it means they're going to happen way more often. Um, I hesitated way too much in that, but I got lucky. I will be taking all the pills I see pretty much, because I'm, uh... A mad bastard, and I believe in Edmund when he says pills are better, even though I have been betrayed by him multiple times already. Look at that. The insta-kill with the hand. It's nowhere near as quick as before. Before, it literally just used to slice through the enemy and insta-kill them. But it's way cooler. <laughs> it's way more stylish. Uh, still waiting on a key, but there you go. We can skip that. And Backstabber. Don't think Backstabber's been changed. Backstabber is kind of a bummer of an item. I kind of wish... It... Do you know what? Knowing it was um, knowing it was an unknown item, I really should have just voided it. The problem with that is, though, you can end up voiding spacebar items that are like teleports and stuff that kind of ruin void. That was very convenient, thank you. Um, that was not so convenient. Unthank you. I regret my thank you. I rescind it. I rescind it twice. Fuck you, bomb flies. Double rescinded. Take it back. Uh, we probably just want to go this way. Uh, shop really isn't in, really isn't possible for us. I'm not worried about getting to that. Of course, while we've got this invincibility here, I am going to barrel stuff these enemies, literally. Boss, uh, boss room. Ooh, wait, we can get into there for free. I just realized, so we can get an extra item. Probably just want to void it. I don't actually know what pool it pulls from, so maybe we do want to take it. But our stats are relatively bad. But then again, if we don't if we don't get fire rate or damage, then it's going to be a complete waste. Let's just bank on the fact that we're going to get fire rate and damage. And then suck it, I think. Also, I believe maybe we can skip it if we suck it. Like, we don't have to fight the room. We can just leave. Let's find out. Let's see what we got. No, we can't. But we did get fire rate and damage, so... <laughs> that worked out. Also, we did have uh, Gerdy literally plant his big fat ass right on top of me, which I do not appreciate in any way, shape, or form. You big laddie boy. But all in all, I think this is going to be pretty worthwhile. And we also do now have enough to get a soul heart from the shop, so I recommend we do that. Okay, that was fantastically worthwhile. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that... Any single item we could have got from that room wouldn't be as good as fire rate and tears. So, because I think it takes from the boss pool, like that would make the most sense, right? Also, definitely barrel stuff, everything, and blow up all the explosives while we have invincibility. Good. Right. Soul heart, thank God. We definitely needed that. And we carry on. But we now have a very good setup with our, um, with our lost contact plus our... Uh, science shots because we've got both things procking relatively often. We've got a lot of tiers, which means we're blocking all incoming tiers, but then we're also procking the uh, science shots very regularly, so this should be quite fun. I'm excited. Also, we should definitely suck the boss item because we do not want HP. We do not want red hearts. It will stop our empty vessel from being active. 
Also, we need to drop a trinket in a room at some point. So let's try and do that soon. Really, that missed? Are you kidding? There you go. Nice one, lost contact. Yeah, so we definitely just suck that up. We did get fire rate again, even better. We'd get range as well. Range isn't great, but I'll take it. Um, health is still looking kind of bad. Uh, we definitely need a little more. And Curse of the Blind. Hey ho. I think we still take the item room again and then don't take boss, boss items. We suck those. Just because we have such a high chance of getting HP that we don't want. Okay. Should be fine here. Looking for our item room. Do da, do da. Okay, that only split that guy. That didn't actually fully kill him. Good to know. So, multi stage enemies, it does just uh, drag the initial phase. We are um, we are on ne Necro 1. Yeah, we are. Cool. Also, on champion enemies, it's real good. Because it's just insta killing them. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Right. Let's see if it ruins our run. Fortune cookie. Um, I guess we just suck it. We could just take fortune cookie. Fortune cookie is pretty good. Because uh, it does give chance for soul hearts. On a two room charge. I wouldn't say it's a great chance for soul hearts. But it does give a chance for soul hearts. Um, shops here. We're just looking for uh, extra rooms to charge our active up really. No. Do you know what? Fortune Cookie, you can stay by the wayside. I'm gonna go and fight my boss. Because I, I need the uh, I need the charge to suck up whatever boss item we get. I wonder how confusing this is if you're fighting Big Horn himself. Probably very. Probably very. So we definitely suck that up. One moment. Apologies there. I had a sore throat or something. Something happened. Oh, you motherfucker! I hate the fact that that can happen. God damn it. Right. Go back. At this point, I kind of think we just take Fortune Cookie. And it's a bit of a sad truth because Void can be good. But honestly, yeah. Let's just let's just go. <laughs> and, and take Fortune Cookie with us. Um... We didn't void that many things. We didn't really see much of this floor, but we don't really need to see much of this floor. We've seen our item room. Let's go. This this run's coming together, though. It's got some good stuff going on. And then I think we immediately sun card. The sun. Here comes the sun. Ba -do 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 -do. We bomb that for our um, full card. Luckily, we found it in our very first room. So no scrambling to look around for that, which is very nice. And we hope we get some soul hearts from our space bar item. Like I said, fortune cookie is unreliable. You do you do only get um, soul hearts like a third of the time, if not less. But the fact that it gives us the chance for soul hearts is much better than what Void was currently doing for us. Void had kind of served its purpose. We sucked up an item. We got good stats. We leave it alone. Oh, okay. That guy put like a little tail up underneath me. Could you stop? Both of you got taken out by that. Angled shots are definitely our weakness right now. Enemies shooting at us like these um these stone boys. Definitely we can't destroy those. Give up. No thanks. I'll be alright. I'll 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 keep it going. Okay, might yes, I was gonna say might be able to destroy a skull and get something from it, and we very much did. We got a black heart. Very good. Okay, careful of these guys. These guys are jumping motherfuckers. They will jump on top of our head, given the opportunity. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I love that. Catches them in mid-jump. Sucks them down into the void. Only a sinner. The wafer. Yes, please. That is fantastic for us. I don't actually know at what point on this journey that we start taking full heart damage. But I definitely know that at some point we do. And I'm pretty sure the beast does full heart. So, the wafer eff effectively from next floor onwards, I think. Next floor onwards doubles our HP. Also, these guys are surprisingly difficult to kill right now. Yeah, that's I think that's, that's our biggest weakness right now. I'd love just more raw damage. Because we're actually missing a lot of tiers due to lost contact. Because it completely destroys the tier. There's our first soul heart. Good stuff. But yeah, it's nice that we can just kind of one-on-one -on, -one on enemy. 
just lost half of that soul heart already. But that's okay. It's kind of why we wanted to get it. Damn it. It'd be cool if it did. I know that this, this would be a very specific interaction. But it would be cool if um, if the science tiers did something when paired with lost contacts. Um, don't think there's anything in there we actually want, is there? Not even a bomb. You watch, there was a bomb in there. And I just didn't see it. I'm stupid. Nice. I want to see a hand get sucked down. Use bombs wisely. I, I will be sure to. I will be sure to. Oh my god, you're all getting wrecked. To head into the secret room, actually, I didn't I didn't even bother going in it. After getting those bombs. Come to me, little wall. I want to find what's inside you. That's a lot of money. That could be really good for um our next floor. We do have another shop available to us, so... Ooh, this is a hard room. There's a, there's a lot of these enemies. And these enemies, if they all spawn the black balls, it becomes very, like, very, very hard to manage. Luckily, they haven't. Also, I haven't really been talking about it, but Boiled Baby, like, Boiled Baby or whatever this thing's called, is really fucking good. Like, anytime enemies get near us, it's doing a ton of damage. Okay, we do not have Spectral Tears, which is really throwing me off. In fact, I'm going to blow up these rocks here just to give myself some more room to breathe. I like having a corner. When I'm whenever I'm fighting Mum, I like just having a corner that I sit in. I just always sit in this corner and chill there. Honestly, we cannot hit a science shot on this boss to save our life, though. Every single time she pops away, it fires one. Look at that. Non... No, no science tears, no science tears, and she's gone. Okay, no science tears, no science tears. She's gone again. All the science tears have missed. And there you go, fired one just as she left. This, they would be doing immense amounts of damage to her, but we just can't hit them. Okay, we've got a few of these annoying enemies here, but again, lost contact is saving our life. There we go, we set one of them up. God damn it, it's, it's crazy how little of them we're hitting. Considering how much we're hitting this boss, we've hit so many tiers and none of them have been the right ones. Still though, look at that! Fired at the very last moment that she peeks away. But there you go, we, we, we pretty much got her. And we did get in time for boss rush too. Just grab that. We got 10 seconds to get in there. Definitely not taking that item, that item's garbage. Uh, telepathy for dummies, ooh that's good, invader. Telekinesis, yeah definitely taking invader here. Invader is top tier. Intruder, sorry. I keep calling it the Invader. It's the Intruder. Uh, but down we go. Feeling a lot better than I have done for previous runs going down to this. We've got a lot of damage, a lot of defense. We've got flight. And we have periodical invincibility, which will help us with some of the more annoying rooms. And then our damage on, on regular enemies, at least, is going to be heavily augmented by Invader. Um, Intruder, sorry. Doing that extra quad shot. But also, oh damn. Oh, this is really good actually. All of these are two charges. And that our items are two charged. So we should get at least one soul heart out of this. In fact, I'm going to do an extra room just to make sure we get the full benefit from that. But yeah, we're, we're, our damage has now been augmented in such a way that I think it's actually pretty good now. Okay. Uh, no, is a pretty good trinket to grab to be honest. We got a card. Okay, we can get cards from this. All right. Soul Heart. Another Trinket. Soul Heart. There you go. Honestly, very worthwhile. And we got the No Trinket as well. So it means we're not going to find any more active items. Uh, which we're, we're probably not going to find any anyways. But it at least helps us on this item room. As long as it affects the item room on the floor that you picked it up on. Which I'm not entirely sure of actually. You got Deaded. Okay, don't don't even try and whip me, sir. I hate your whips. Okay, we've got invincibility now. Get in there. Got to pay attention to the invincibility. Fuck! <laughs> Did not mean to take that at all. No, we just lost a lot of our um, survivability. We just lost a lot of our survivability. I kind of saw it and immediately picked it up, thinking, "Yeah, of course that's good. Why, why, would I, why wouldn't I?" And then I realised, fucking hell. That's not good for us at all. We, uh, we, I wouldn't say we're in trouble, 
but losing the invincibility periods and the speed is going to be a big downside. A huge one, in fact. And I don't think there's any way we can get rid of that either. Okay, good. Whoa! Managed to slip a shot pie there, did you? Could I have another key, please? Think for yourself. Okay. Oh, damn. God damn. Yeah, our damage feels so damn low right now. So dang low. Nice. Eh, an extra soul heart. Good. Oh, no. Ah, that's so upsetting to see. Accidentally taking that. I don't think there's any way to get rid of it either. Like, while we don't have red hearts, there's no way to get rid of an eternal heart. Prior to it proccing and then trading it away. But we've only got a trade on this floor, possibly. Oh, no, I don't, I don't even think we have dual devil trades on this floor. Yeah, that nurse definitely shouldn't last as long as it does. Can't see anything. Get you real quick. Yeah, you're going to try and brimstone me, but that's okay. A card here, the world. Accidentally used my only fucking key on a key block because I have flight and I forgot. Even though I was just talking about how it's going to be super sad to lose flight. Now that, that definitely makes me upset. No, I'm really angry. No, I'm really angry. My God, that's upsetting. Right. Bomb into here. Hope and pray for two keys. Nope, we get the keeper. We did get one key. Uh, for some reason, we can't bomb into there. Bizarre. Thought we thought we would be able to. Um, we got our one key at least. But damn, that was uh, a little bit upsetting. I wonder if it can suck up invincible enemies. No, it can't. It used to be able to, but now it can't. You will die. Really not what the, the sort of encouragement that I'm looking for at the minute, to be honest, game. Really not what I'm looking for. I would hope that I will live. But yeah, this this room has been... Uh, this room, this run has been really bad for keys. Been having a real hard time with them. Right, please be absolutely stellar. Yes, four shots are great. Very happy to have those. Don't even know why I'd go in this room. Seems like a terrible idea. Oh, ooh, ooh. Right. Spore shot, little Loki shots or little horn shots. Um, plus shielded tears. How is that gonna work? Will it sit on the enemy and block them from shooting? Because if it does, that's mad. It like grows in size a little bit, doesn't it? I can go in here now as well. PhD could give us some good stuff. Look up, there you go. And a range up. There you go. I'll go for luck and range. And we'll head into our boss. It is the dad at nerd. I'm pretty happy with the stuff we got from this floor. I'm not so happy about accidentally gaining a red heart and losing my uh losing my my flight. Oh hello. There we go. Yeah, I need to do some testing here. Uh Right, let's 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 just fire some like real slow shots on you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The break after a short amount of time, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if it works then. We do have ourselves a Degas rune here, which I will just use for the soul heart. Um and our trinket is where is our trinket? I can't remember where we dropped it. We definitely did drop one, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Pretty sure we did. Can't actually remember. Um, I really hope we did. We had plenty of opportunities to. If so, this run's a bit dead. This run might be a little bit dead if we didn't. I don't remember doing it, but I'm pretty sure we did. Probably this floor or the next one, right? Oh, we might not have done it. We genuinely might not have done it. I cannot remember for the life of me what floor I did it on. Which makes me think I didn't do it. <laughs> Fuck. Right, got you. Beautiful stuff. Shut up. 
Soul heart, beautiful. Health is health is going good. Come on, please say I did it. Please say I didn't fucking mess this up again. Right, get all of you. Extra pill. Infested. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Holy hell. Oh, okay. So the spore shots that um that are the void the portal ones. Kind of strange. Yes, I did do it. Good. Whew. Oh, for a minute there was a little uh that was a little touchy. I thought I didn't do it. I was like, I, I swear I dropped callus somewhere, but I don't remember where. But yeah, I'm feeling good about this now. This, this, run, this run definitely came together these last few floors. The uh, invader, um, or intruder, whatever it's called, plus the mysosis shot, or whatever the hell it's called. I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me. The gars rune. We destroyed two rocks. Yay. But there, yeah, them two together is is a pretty cool combo. We shall make our way up and away. I'm not gonna let his light inside me. You are insane. Oh, except oh, experimental pill is literally just a stat up when you've got a PhD. I was wondering why that came as a positive pill then, because they always have downsides. But first one's done. Good, good. Another pill. We're getting a lot of pills here. Lots of range upgrades, which I cannot complain about, to be honest. Not going to be super, super useful, but it is going to be nice. Ooh. All the poisoning shots going off. Like crazy. But yes, for, for any of you wondering, Fortune Cookie is a much better item than a lot of people give it credit for. It, li it doesn't literally just give you fortunes. It gives you cards and soul hats. And like I said, the soul hat payout rate is about one, one third of the time, which is as good as a six charge active. So in my opinion, it's, it's pretty much always worth taking. It's a very, very good active item. It's one that I always liked in um, in Anti-Birth, and I saw a lot of people, like, shit on it and say it was really bad. Because most people thought it was just the cards and the uh, the messages, and that was it. Penskis, thank you. Oh, ho, ho. these big boy enemies that think they're so cool. Hey, Plum. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Big boy enemies with big health bars. I think they're so cool. But we can easily kill them. Right. Last floor. Last floor. Here it is. Where are you going? Don't leave us. Gosh darn. I wonder why there's always a room on the map that's already explored. What is that? My god. This is kind of a hard room. But we are doing fine. There's a lot of mitosis. Or I don't know what the hell it's called. There's a lot of those shots stuck to him. An extra soul heart there. Oh, I love that. Okay, I think it's just that item room that we've already been to. Just yet another hint of dropping the trinket in the item room being effective. I suppose they had to leave some good hints in there for people to figure out. Oh, these are all the slidey boys. These are all the slidey fellas. <laughs> oh, do you see that? Right through the uh, the middle of those jars. Yeah, we are killing stuff very quickly now. It's crazy how a run can transform in just a few items. Look up. You're going down as soon as we get a thingy tier on you, which apparently we cannot get for the life of us. What the hell? There you go. You're gone. Right, up we go. Apollyon, we have unlocked you. Your ult is got is got gotten. Key. What we got in here. Chest. A key and a bomb. Pop this in here. And there he is. Ooh, he looks very cool. Very interesting indeed. Uh open this up. Eh, it's fine. And let's go for the fight. I think we've got a pretty good shot. I'd, I'd say pretty much any run where you have full health, you have a pretty good shot. 
of, of uh, killing this boss, especially with shielded tears. I think they are definitely going to help. I really don't know how um, how we're going to function with um, shielded tears work against them as well. That's nice. The Loki's Loki, not Loki. The there, there you go. Okay, that's what it does. It it does just do the hand on it. Ow! I really find this attack very difficult. Okay, our head is out. Our quad shot boy is running around doing his thing. Pretty quick kill here, though. On the TV version, at least. Oh, my God. Yeah, pretty quick kill. We'll see how quickly he ends up doing his spinny, spinny attack. The past few times, he's really taken a long time to start spinning. Which is great for me, because that's the attack that I'm worst at. This is my favorite attack. It's it's very simple, but it has some randomness to it. It's not it's not easy. It's just simple. Ah ha ha ha! I was right. The the, sti the stuck shielded tears are very very strong. The stuck shielded tears are very very strong because they s literally stop him from firing. Of course, as you can see, damage here isn't exactly stellar. The damage that we're doing isn't exactly great. Look at that. No tears fired. Not a single feather on my screen. He just keeps doing this again. Oh, that was... We got him there. That was close. But yeah, we, we've definitely got this now, I'm pretty sure. I've never taken this this amount of hearts worth of damage, especially with the wafer to this second bit. I'm looking forward to seeing how the hand deals with it while floating. Okay, it literally just comes out and grabs him while floating. That's kind of funny. I like that. Oh, he's back again. But yeah, Shielded Tears is going to be real good here. Uh, our Invader, I'm really hoping we don't get hit for a while, because our Invader is going to be kind of crap as soon as he falls out of our head. Because, as you can probably imagine, he is just going to end up sitting in the lava. <laughs> he won't be able to do anything. He'll basically be useless. It's kind of cool as well that all the, um, all the tears that are falling off of... Um, of him from the, the spore shots are also shielded. I wasn't expecting that. The ones produced by spore shots are also shielded. As you can see though, our damage is not very good. I think we lost our holy mantle then. Our damage is not very good. We are taking quite a long time to kill these. Whoa. Bye, I guess. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? We managed to push him, like, all the way down into the, uh, into the lava. Ow! I did not see that attack occur, I have to say. Okay, that's the second phase. This is a hard attack. Oh, wait, no, our invader is fucking flying. <laughs> I was like, no, he's going to have a really hard time because he's going to end up being in the lava. No, he can fly. Super Meat Boy and Bumbo can't fly, but... This small spider, he has uh, anti-grav technology. He can he can do whatever he wants. He can bend space and time. He's chill. Don't worry about him. He's chill. Oh! Ah, I knew that was going to hit me. That's okay. The, the bombs are definitely one of my weakest attacks. Oh, shit. Didn't see this coming. Come on, spider fella. Go get him. My fists of fury are on you now. Okay, second phase of this guy. Second phase of this guy is pretty easy. Oh my god, apart from when he does that, I did not know that he could jump that far. Okie dokie, let's remember that. Oh, oh, this is a new attack. Okay, there's definitely a mechanic where there's got to be some sort of mechanic where um, every single time you fight these guys, they get a little bit harder and, and have a few new attacks. I wonder how many times that's going to happen for. Because, yeah, like 100%, like each time we fought them, we've seen a new attack now. We're coming back from this way, okay. We've definitely taken all the hits here, but we've still got the wafer, so we've still got plenty of hits in us. And the thing is as well, we're going to be charging up our... Um, Oh, shit. We actually are killing some of these skulls. Um, we actually are... Um, oh, fuck. Hitting 
some of our uh, fortune cookies. So we're going to be able to get a few extra hearts from that. Oh, shit. I did not see him at all there. It's too dark, my friend. It's too dark. I can't see. I can't heck and see, my dude. I can't heck and see. Okay, we got him. Good, good. It's time for big boy himself. There's a soul heart. Already got one. It's time, my big bastard. I love the way this guy looks. I saw some people on the uh, subreddit, which is definitely not a place you want to go, by the way, if you like this game or this DLC. But anyways, people complaining, saying, oh, this fight's not fitting. It's really bad. It's like, what? I mean, it's definitely different, but it's not bad. That's like saying the um, the the rat fight, the, the rat punch out is really bad in, in Gungeon. Like, it's very different, but it's not bad. And it's very, very optional, too. Like, I get there's unlocks associated with it, but if you really don't like it, just download a save file or something. I think this fight's awesome. Even after this many times experiencing it, we're still seeing new attack patterns, which is, in my opinion, like, one of the greatest, like, things to do in boss fights is to add a lot of different variation in the attack patterns. It makes them very unpredictable, different every time. You don't want it to be so unpredictable that it becomes a chore. What is going on now? Okay, it's just the fires again. Yeah, you don't want it to be so unpredictable that it becomes a chore to learn all the attacks. But having a lot of unpre unpredictability in the fight does make it more fun. Also, you're you're getting you're getting beat up by your child's hand at the minute, so I hope you're okay with that. Because he is technically bigger horn. There's little horn, big horn, and this is bigger horn. That's what I've seen him called. I think his kind of name is just the beast. Oh shit, I didn't what? These fall now? As you can tell, this is this fight's taking us way longer than it has done previously. There you go, we're in, we're on last phase now. We're on the last phase. Once you're in the last phase, you're essentially in the home run. It's it, very little can go wrong here. I, I do get that some people may think it's a little bit too auto-scrolly, but I think up and like the, the first two phases of the fight and the um Dogma fight and the the horseman, they're all very different and, and have a lot of difficult moves. This guy's very much about the spectacle and the show than it is about the fight. Because it's, it's something that Edmund wanted people to see, so he doesn't want to make it so difficult that it's impossible to beat. And you got to remember, this is like an eight-phase boss fight, technically, if you include Dogma. So you can't make it too difficult. It should be achievable on basically for, for basically anyone that's um, able to kill mother. So there we go, we did it, and we got worm friend. Very very nice, very good win. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.